Okay, I admit I've been trying to avoid talking about the Philippines presidential election, but the last couple of days are concerning. Um, now, there has been talks about the some vote rigging relating to people putting in for uh, Duterte, and it's coming out uh, Roja, and we'll wait and see how that pans out because it's supposed to be a fault, although it's an interesting one, rather uh, specific. Um, but the next one is relating to the Aquino president and this, uh, what's his name, Triniani or whatever he is? This guy that was um, been involved with trying to show Duterte's um, financial ability and the reality is the money isn't there. But what's come out of it is why is he giving out banking information that he shouldn't have access to and shouldn't be declaring to the public. But then the Spratly Islands. The Spratly Islands is probably going to be the one thing, if nothing else, was going to lose this election um, for Roja. Um, it seems there's been some deals being done with China, which is concerning because the first thing people are asking is how much did they get paid you know the people involved the same guy that was involved with the banking issue relating to Duterte's information has been pulled up because he's had at least 16 visits with the Chinese and requested that the information wasn't made public asked people not to record these um, visits etc from the media I've seen um, and my question being is, A, why is he having these secret meetings? B, no wonder China's doing a build-up in the Spratleys if they've been sold off. And I, I'll let you decide what you would call that if your country sold something off in that way. From a British point of view, um, we had the Falkland Islands invaded and we sent an army to retake them and it's off the coast of Argentina <laughs> it's miles away from us um, but the Spratlys is right off the coast of the Philippines and it's not just strategic but it seems that some backhanded dealings been going on with China you got to remember a lot of the wealth in the Philippines or such the wealthy people sorry um, are Taipans. They're connected with China and other places. They are not 100% Filipino. So there's a lot of stuff that's interconnected with the, the people that they're obviously associated with because that's how things are globally. I mean, it's like when you look at the mafia in Sicily and whatever and it's reached to the US. It's because they've got family and interconnection it's interwoven this is how these powerful families are formed is the it's the web um i was just completely shocked if, they, if it's true that they've actually sold off or come to some silly agreement with china and gave them the spratlies i don't know what to say i really don't let me know what you think on it because i i, I I'm really confused on it, to be honest. I really cannot understand why anybody would do that. Even if you gave me £50 billion, I would not sell off something that A, was not mine, but B, it's part of your identity. I don't understand. Thanks for watching.